I'm Taryn Ravel, and this is Five and Five. Five picks in five minutes presented by BetMGM and every week. I am joined by Chris Raybon. We always start the show by giving you last week's records. Chris gets three picks. He was two and one. I get two picks. I was two and oh? Wow, this is really getting impressive. Uh, For the second straight week, Chris and I went head to head. Uh, Tom Brady and the Bucks. Uh, and the Seahawks in Germany, and uh, I win. I win again. What do you have, Chris? Again? I had the Seahawks, but you you Seahawks. always tell people to fade you, so you're actually losing because you tell them right. If people go, if people go, and you win, and you mess it all up. It. So, so I started the season zero uh, and six, <laughs> and now I'm eight and twelve. Uh, so this is this is okay. really going quite well for me. You're 17, 12, and 1 on the season. So let's take it another week. But before we do, we must tell you we are presented by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. They have an incredible offer. If you sign up uh, using the code ACTION, you'll get a completely risk-free bet up to $1,000. Use the code ACTION, risk-free, up to $1,000 on BetMGM. Okay. Let's get after it. Five picks in five minutes for week number 11 in the NFL. Chris, take us to your first pick. Let's go with the Indianapolis Colts plus six against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Colts got back to running the ball in that last game. And the Eagles are bottom five in DVOA against the run. It's also a tough spot for them. Short week. Their defense played over 80 snaps in that game against Washington. And on offense, Dallas Goddard is a big loss against that zone-heavy Gus Bradley scheme. Underdogs of more than a field goal. With a total 47 or below this year, 46 and 19 against the spread. Give me the Colts. Not a bad pick. I don't hate it. For my first pick, I'm going Detroit Lions plus three. Love what they did last week. Uh, And one of my favorite things on the Action Network is Sean Kerner and the luck rankings. And the Giants are like, I think, one. And the Lions are like all the way down. I love the idea as trying to be a smart better of it's not the scores, it's not the records. That's what all the squares think. And I know I'm a square myself. But but I love the fact that the Lions are better than we think they are. And I just think the Giants, you could see they've been lucky if you're a Giants fan, Chris. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It, 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 this is a toss-up game. I don't mind taking the three. Yeah, so I, I, love, I love a hook here. But you know what? Um, I thought about the Giants uh, doing the Lions money line. I'm not going to do that. But the plus three, I am going to take that. All right, your second pick is. Speaking of the hook, I'll go with the Pittsburgh Steelers plus three and a half at home against the Cincinnati Bengals. TJ Watt back. Looks like Minka Fitzpatrick uh, is going to return as well. And love the Steelers as a home dog in what should be a low-scoring divisional battle. Joe Burrow, 9.7 yards per attempt to chase against the Steelers, 6.7 to everyone else. And, of course, you have the Steelers under Mike Tomlin, 15-3-3 all-time against the spread as a home underdog. Well, I don't don't hate that pick either. Um, Usually I like to kind of rib on you, but I think that's a pretty good pick. (laughs) I am taking Washington Houston under 41. Now, this is a great situation because of recency bias, right? Washington scores 32 points. They didn't really score 30. I mean, that ending was ridiculous. Okay, but people see the 32. It was an anomaly. That game got out of hand. Uh, Houston Texans have proven through 10 weeks they can't really score. Uh, so I think this is, I love an easy under, and this is an easy under. The number should be like 37, but of course they got the 32 last week. The public thinks that the, the, the commanders score more than they do, and that and that Taylor Heineke is all of a sudden the man. He's not, and uh, this is going 41, under 41. Chris, what's your next pick? The New Orleans Saints and the Los Angeles Rams, because I'm going under 39 in this one. Matthew Stafford is going to play, but... The issue here is that you're not going to have Cooper Cup for the Rams, and that's a massive loss. He accounted for 31% of their scrimmage yards, 44% of their offensive touchdowns, 
And remember, this team still can't block anyone either. And on the other side of the ball, the Rams are number four on defense against the run and number one at limiting explosive plays. So what are the Saints really going to do in this one on offense? Both of these teams play at a bottom six pace as well. Love the under 39 in Rams Saints. This is the first week I'm doing this, but I'm taking all the picks and parlaying them. I am. I, ser I seriously am. I'm going to parlay all of them. You should take all our picks. This has been Five Picks in Five Minutes, presented by BetMGM. I'm Darren Ravel. He's Chris Raybon. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube so you can check out every episode. Good luck, everyone.